All right, how we doing today? It's Coach Woodward here, and uh, I just wanted to kind of show y'all, um, you know, how I catch fish. What's my go-to thing? What's my go-to tactic that uh, when you know the fish aren't biting and we want to get them, get them biting, and uh, you know, how do I do it? Well, first off, um, I always go to. I always have one of these tied on, and this is a Zoom Fluke. All right, as you can see, this is the pearl color. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, they're you know just they, you can get them anywhere. You can get them at Walmart. Bass Pro, Tackle Warehouse, wherever. But the thing about Zoom is they make them in every single color. And uh, that, that's the thing about it. I mean, you can fish a fluke and catch fish on it anywhere uh, as long as you have the right color. You know, uh, I can show you a video. Uh, we'll go to a little video here in just a second of, of this watermelon seed. This is another great color for clear water. I typically use the white one and more of a, a stained water. Uh, just to mimic a shad and uh, you know I've had great success with it I'll show you a video at Lake Mary where I caught a lot on this and I'll show you a video of Scottsdale Park where I caught some on the watermelon which mimics mimics a brim but you're always wanting to mimic whatever the fish are chasing whether it be shad whether it be brim etc and another thing that I love that Zoom makes is the Swimming Fluke Junior it's just a basic little swim bait um they come in packs that look uh just like this it's called swimming swimming fluke junior they got a little paddle tail on them and you see in a lot of my videos that i'm catching them on that now this is what i put it on okay this is sorry you can't really see it but this is a vmc it's a little, little rugby jig head that i put the swimming fluke junior on um and i just texas rig all these and my favorite way to fix fish a fluke without a weight, without a jig head, is usually a five alt hook and letting that thing sink down um, <clears throat> real fast on either eight or 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. I use uh, light line because I'm fishing a lot of places that are just, you know, real, um, the bass are real finicky and uh, the water's real clear and I don't, you know, I don't want to scare them. So I tend to get more bites and I also get my line broken tend to get more bites with a uh, fluorocarbon leader. Well, let's go to this video first of Scottsdale Park where I've caught uh, a couple of fish that were highly pressured on uh, a fluke and I use the uh, watermelon seed color. Let's check this out. As you can see here, I made a nice long cast. What I noticed is that, you know, a lot of bass were chasing some brim in these weed lines that were underneath the surface of the water so i cast it past it and then jerk the bait back let it fall and then this bass just comes out of nowhere and grabs it set the hook and uh just nice clear water bass on uh watermelon seed fluke yes sir all right first fish it sorry we're shaking here scottsdale park in bloomingdale not a bad one on a fluke water um watermelon not a bad fish definitely uh definitely bigger than the ones i've actually really been catching in places but just cast it right on up there and some uh weed lines some grass lines with the um fluke by zoom and we got us a good a good fish for fish number one get the monkey off our back so to speak definitely uh definitely a lot of fun he didn't appear to be um big at all and then you know get up to the boat and obviously he's not big but got up to the boat he started running a little bit but anyway i'm gonna give this guy a little release it's all nasty right here but we can uh, get him in real quick Oh, it's so clear. All right. Now, you know, I've been talking about clear water and highly pressured fish, but there's also, you know, you can fish flukes in really stained water. And one of my favorite colors for stained water is this uh, smoking silver. And I'll, I'll cut to a clip in just a few minutes where I caught about a four and a half pounder on a, a smoking silver. Now, the way I caught that one um, in, you know, really, really stained water was I actually used 
uh, the, the VMC jig head on just a regular basic fluke, which is this one right here. I just wanted it to sink down a little bit deeper um, because the fish were a little bit deeper. Uh, they weren't really close to the top, they were down deep. And so I used that smoking silver fluke to get down deep under the, under the weed line and pull out this four and a half pounder. Check out the video right here. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off, big guy. Don't come off, big guy. He's a nice one. Oh. He's a nice one. Don't come off, big guy. Don't come off, big guy. Easy, big guy. Easy, big guy. Easy, big guy. Easy, big guy. Don't come off, big guy. Don't come off, big guy. GoPro, I hope you're recording. I gotta sit down for this one. Yes, sir. Ho, ho, ho. Good gosh almighty. What a day. <laughs> I thought, should I put, should I even put the kayak in these alligator infested waters or what holy smokes oh man all right as you can see you know most of the fish that i've caught you know, have been on a fluke or, or a paddle tail in my videos now i have you know i use a bunch of other baits but this is the go-to lure if if you want to catch more fish uh if you're a young you know high school guy that wants to you know enter the world of a professional fishing or a college guy that just wants to enter the world or you just you know maybe you're just an old washed up guy like me 39 year old uh, football coach that wants to catch more fish learn to fish one of these you can fish it a couple different ways and you've seen on the videos that sometimes I fish it fast and on top just kind of ripping ripping it through the water um, but other times you know I'm letting it sink down to the bottom and popping it up and just trying to trigger a strike on some slow moving fish. But my favorite way to fish it is just throwing it out there and working it back. Just jerk it about three or four times, let it fall. Jerk it three or four times, let it fall. And usually you get a reaction strike. And sometimes you'll you'll watch the water and watch what's going on around you as you jerk it back. Um, all of a sudden you'll see a wake that comes behind it. And the best thing that I, I, I found with that is that just to completely stop it and then watch your line. So many times I've jerked it through the water and um, you know, saw a wake of a fish coming behind it and just stopped it. And then the fish picked it up. My line just kind of, you know, a little vibration on my line. And so I set the hook and, and got them. And so there's several different ways to fish this lure, but if, if you would just equip yourself with the different ways to fish a fluke, you can put more fish in the boat uh, than any other lure. And, you know, I know there'll be a lot of arguments out there that Cinco would be better than fluke. And Cinco is great. You know, I have a whole bag of uh, Gary Yakamoto Cinco's, whole box of those. And we'll do another video on fishing a Cinco, but but um, my favorite way is, is to fish this fluke weightless and about a four alt, five alt hook, depending on how fast you want it to, to drop down. And, uh, and if you're in clear water, really if you want it to sink at all, you gotta put it on a fluorocarbon leader. And I always tie on my fluorocarbon leaders from braid to fluorocarbon, and I use uh, an Alberto knot. And, uh, I'll show a, a video of, of how I do the Alberto knot um, in a later in a later film but check out my videos subscribe um, to my channel coach woodward if you like uh, all the information that i'm giving you and be sure to like it and uh, hit that notification bell but i'll be doing a lot more of these videos because football season's coming about and uh, i really don't have time to go fishing i'll be working mainly um trying to to get the raiders ready for for the football season so i don't have time to go out there and fish i'm mainly be watching film and getting ready to coach them up but if you like these videos please like them and hit the notification bell and uh keep your lines tight